Hi. This is Om Namah Shiva. You are welcome to my channel Oil, Gas, Water, Knowledge Hub. This presentation on shutdown activities, point number three, as we discussed earlier. This is ninth point water flushing. What is water flushing? Why it is required? Maybe let us understand. If it is new construction of piping or vessels, may be erected. Of course, they clean the internally prior to erection. Still, there are a lot of Debris, waste materials like stud bolts, old gaskets, and sometimes big cylinders, sometimes big animals like small animals or will be there, dead but dead animals will be there inside the pipeline or piping. Especially uh, now we are talking about the a system water flushing. A system water flushing in the sense. It is a system. You have to read P and AD, PEFs, UEFS. Which system you are going to do? Process and management diagram, whether it is utility, utilities or process. If it is loss of process, engine flow, schematic diagrams, you have to go through that. If it is utilities, you have to go through UEFS products for proper spading, blinding, spectacles are turned in place as required for flushing. This is important point. Ensure all systems are color marked in P and AD. Before going to field, you should mark in the P and AD or EFS where you want blind, where you want spades, spectacles to be turned on or off, depends on the process and existing conditions. You have to identify and mark with the different colors. Okay. And ensure all permits are in place and toolbox are conducted with consent team. It is most important. Toolbox talk means prior to start any activity in shutdown or normal operation conditions. We have to call all the team at one place, assemble together and discuss what exactly we are going to do. What, how many blinds are there? Where we are blinding, where we are turning spectacles, where we are spading, these things to be identified and hazards to be identified. If it is at certain level, higher elevations, maybe about 2 meters or 3 meters, you have to have scaffolding. As we earlier we have discussed about scaffolding, that approved scaffolding should be there and it should be tagged. And then people should know the weight of the scaffolding, what tools they are using, this capacities they should know. So for accordingly, you have to raise a permit. The permit holder should know what exactly is going to do. The team leader should explain to them and the toolbox talk, especially you have to discuss about the hazards. Entire systems will be flushed with water as per SOPs and work instructions. See, specifically I am talking about SOPs, standard operating procedures. For everything, every small activity, see, every organization, Owners of the companies, they will be having SOPs. 
we have to work as per the SOP specifically. It is known to everyone. And work in the sections. Sometimes they give work in the sections. And they are writing papers duly signed. Those instructions you have to follow. See, there is a just example on PNAD is there for color marking as a sample for a system, team flashing, steam flashing or water flashing, entire plant is to be let's say all systems is isolated. See this diagram, PNAD diagram like this. It is only example I am telling. There are different diagrams, depends on the process conditions, depends on systems. There are only one system I am telling here. See this PNAD will be having safety wall, relief wall, control walls, pressure control walls, temperature control walls, level control, huh? and some gate walls, low walls, and these things are there. You see this yellow marker. This is APA 5000. This class changes. You should understand this side APA 5000 class. This side ANSI 600 class. The mating flanges will be there. So, this is exactly where you wanted to put a blind or spade as required. Why it is like this? This is 5000 APA and this is ANSI 600. Means this ledge is coming from a wellhead line. Then all that wellhead lines may mostly be 5000 which is coming from the well and connecting to the process system, one, one system. It is connecting here. This entire system is 600 class. There is no class change in this. That means all walls, piping material, this vessel, thickness, material, everything on 600 class material. Again, you see this. This is again going to connect with a tank, atmospheric tank. This is same, class 600, class 600. There is no change in the class. Okay. So this PN rate only example I am telling you exactly. You have to follow the key points are there that class identification, material identification, space identification, spectacle identification. These things are required. Okay. Water flushing of complete system. This is what is flushing. Many people will ask this question. There are similar answers everywhere uh, 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 is available. Flushing is part of a pre-commissioning activity which involves pumping water or any other suitable medium in sufficient quantity and velocity through a given piping, completely filling that section is in such a way that the flow of medium through the system will forcibly remove any loose rust, construction debris, etc. This is the flushing. When you push the water with certain pressure, pressure certain velocity, so inside the piping or equipment, whatever it is, it should come out. That much force is required. Water main lane. See here I am talking about again main lane. Previously I have discussed about one system. It is only main lane, pipeline. It is. Okay, try to understand and just keep in mind. Flushing means you can do for vessels, you can do for uh, total system, you, can, you have to do for complete pipeline also. In that case, water main lane should be filled to eliminate air pockets and should be flushed to remove particulates. The flushing velocity generally is not less than 2.5 feet per second. It is only general. And prefer one is SOP. Specific authorized persons determines that conditions. Maybe engineering manager or specific superintendent, specific senior engineers, they will guide you what is the velocity required and what SOP says. According to SOPs, they will follow. You have to ask the consent responsible person. 
in different pipe sizes. The flow required produce to velocity 2.5 feet per second. So there are different pipe sizes are there. Sometimes maybe one and a half inch, one inch, two inches, four inch, six inch, eight inch, twelve inch, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Many sizes are there. Any size of the pipe, the minimum velocity should be two point five foot per second, or as per the SOPs. Is the clarification should you take from the owners? All size of pipe shall be carried out a picking activity prior to water oil flushing. There is a picking activity. That means PIG pig means pipeline inspection gazing. The different types of uh, brushes are there. Maybe a lot of debris will be there during construction, and the moisture is there, rust is there, all these things there. You can say that wire brush we use clean. Clean the pipe inside wherever your hand will go. Here in this case, picking means wire brush picking. Picks are there. Many different types of picks are there. So, according to the requirement, we have to use the picking activity. Okay, that prior to filling oil, oil or water, oil or water. Connect all pipe connections. As per flushing drives, that means filling, vent, drying, pressurizing, etc. We have seen that uh, P and D. We can understand inlet line, outlet line, drain line, vent line, and pressurizing points are there. These things we have to connect properly. Temporary connections are required in case we have to prepare for this. And pressure shall be maintained more than 40 psi as per owners or as per owners specification SOPs. And the minimum pressure shall be maintained 40 psi. Hmm? So that means to approximately to about two cages. Our SOP standards, they will say this much velocity is required, this much pressure is required in the SOPs. They will specify. You have to ask the responsible person. Ensure that approximately filling discharge point shall be approximately. 1000 gallons per minute to 2000 gallons per minute or as per SOP depends on the main line size. Here also it is mentioned some people will fill with the fire using fire hydrants, maybe 200 inches, 400 inches, uh, maybe different sizes are there. Or you can uh, use a, a truck or tanker to fill the line like that. So that gallons per minute should be 1000 gallons per minute should be minimum or as per the SOPs. So this is what uh, flushing activities in this video. So next video we will discuss about this water flushing activity. Next 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 video we will discuss another point number ten. Okay, my friends. Any doubt? Please contact me. You write a comment. Subscribe this channel. Write a comment. I will respond to everyone for every comment. Okay. Finally, thank you very much for watching my videos. If you don't understand, please review the video. Any doubts, as I told you, I am there to answer. I hope that this video, whatever I am making videos will be useful for the juniors and sub-juniors and some experienced engineers who wish to work with oil and gas. Thank you very much. Your knowledge is your asset. Don't forget. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.